Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video we will talk about a free video editor that is coming as a built-in with Windows 11 22H2 version. As you may know, Microsoft has just released Windows 11 22H2 version and as a gift we have Clipchamp video editor for free. In order to open Clipchamp, you just have to search Clipchamp video editor. And once you see the app, you click over it in order to open. But in case that for a certain reason, you don't see Clipchamp on your computer, then there are two ways how you can get it. The first one is to open Microsoft Store. And once you have open Microsoft Store, you search here Clipchamp. The logo of the application is this one, Clipchamp Video Editor, we click over it. And now, in my case, I just have the option to open it. But if it's not installed in your computer, you'll have the option Get, so you'll be able to install it on your computer. Now, the next method is to download Clipchamp from the official website of clipchamp.com. I'll put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page. There are two versions that you can download one of them is for free and basically you have most of the features that you need to edit and to create a video but if you need more features then you're gonna need to upgrade to this essential version but i'm pretty happy with this free version that i'm using right now so in this video i will just describe shortly how you can use clipchamp since this is a free editor, I just wanted to show to you guys because possibly you're gonna find some features that you're gonna like. So once you have opened the clip channel, you have these options here. And let's suppose that I wanna create a video. I'm gonna click over create a video. And now it will show me all these options on the left. I'm gonna choose record a video. And here we have four options. One of them is screen and camera. So you will be able to record the screen and the camera. And the other one is camera recording. So you just record yourself, screen recording. And the last one is text to speech. This is very interesting actually. So let me show you quickly how does it work text to speech. So here you have to select the language. Let's suppose English, United States, and here you choose one of the voices and here you write the text that you want to convert to speech. Hello, everyone. Let's have a preview of this speech. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Learn Tech. You can choose any kind of voice that you want. Let's choose, for example, Jenny, and let's give it a try. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Learn Tech. So that's what you can do with this. You can change the speech speed, etc., etc. And once you are done, you save it to media. And then you can use this recording on your videos. So let's go back once again to record and create. And let's choose screen recording. And in order to start recording, we click over here. And now it will show us choose what to share, which means that we can choose a window where we want to record the tab, etc., etc. But I'm gonna choose entire screen. So I just select it and then I will select also share system audio and then we choose share. And now the record will start. And as we can see here, clipchamp.com is sharing your screen and audio and it's recording right now. So I'm gonna choose now stop sharing and let's see so now you have the option to retake the recording or to save and edit. I'm gonna choose save and edit, for example, and let's see now. So here we are, the video is downloaded, but we have also this video that we just recorded on our timeline and we can edit the video that we just recorded. If you want to zoom in the timeline, we click over here at this plus here. And if you want to zoom out, we click at the minus. I would like to zoom out, so I'm just gonna click over plus here. And now we can edit the video however we want. So let's suppose that I wanna trim this part here. So we move the cursor at the place where we want to trim. So like this, we just drag it and drop over the place where we want to trim. And then we have two possibilities to trim. We click with the right of the mouse and we check all the options. And one of them is split. And the other option is to use this sign here, which is split. 
So we just go over the place where we want to split and we select over split. And now let's suppose that this part of the video we want to delete. So we click over it with the right of the mouse once again and we define what we want to do with this part of the video. So I want to delete it. So we click over delete and it's gone. Now we drag and drop this part of the other video. It's pretty much very similar with the other video editors that you may have used. But the big difference is that the main features on this video editor are free, at least for now. Let's see. So if you want to use fades, if, if you want to adjust the colors, you can click on these options here on the right. If you want to change the speed, faster or slow, you can choose all these options that you have here and you can change the speed over here. You can use also filters, so we just click over filters and there are a lot of free filters that you can use. So let's suppose I'm going to use this filter and let's see how it does it look. I have selected only this part of the video, so this filter will be affecting only this part of the video. So here we are. Now this is the first Word part with. and this is the second part of the video. So this is how you can record a video. You have a lot of templates that you can use. For example, if your video is going to be for YouTube, you select over YouTube and you have some of the templates that you can attach on your video. For example, this is my video or whatever. And they are for free. If you go over stock images, you can choose some of the images that are for free and you can attach on your videos. So we can check here free to use photos if you find them interesting to attach on your videos. You can use also different graphics. So we just click over graphics and here you can find different graphics that you can use for your background, for frames and overlays, etc, etc. Also, if you want to use some background music, you go over music and then you choose the music that is for free. You click over see more and you can check more musics that you may attach on your videos. Let's try this one. Sad piano music. Well, this is very nice music, especially what's happening around in the world with the wars and etc, etc, and prices. Well, <laughs> you have another song that you can use, A Day to Remember. There are many songs that you can attach and they are for free to use. That's the best thing. You don't need to download from another platform, but they are built in on the video editor itself. So you just drag and drop them over your video and then you can use them as a background, etc, etc. You can also edit an existing video. So you just go over your media and you click over add media, then you browse the files so we click over browse files and then we select the video that we want to edit let's suppose this one whatever and we select it and then we choose our open and now the media is showing here on my computer and in order to put it on the timeline we drag it and drop it over here and then you can adjust however you want the timeline and you put the video wherever you want to put it and then you start editing it Pretty much those are some of the features that you may need in order to start using this application. Of course, there are many other features and many other things that you can do on this application. But for a start, I would say that this is pretty much what you need. And please consider subscribing because we are going to check more in details this application because I think that it's going to be useful for the content creators out there. Once you are done with editing your video, you just need to click over export here. And now you have three options in this case. The one that you are going to use is this one for video streaming and presentation. If you want to upload this on social media, you choose this one. But in this case, I want this video for YouTube. So I'm going to choose this one. And now it's showing your video will export as an MP4. Now we can put a title for the video. We can create a video link, but in this case, we can choose also to save it on the Dropbox, save to OneDrive, send to TikTok, etc., etc. So now the video is exporting and as we can see now, it's almost 1%.
if you want to keep editing, you go back to keep editing, etc. etc. So basically, that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you like this video and I hope that you find this video useful in case that you want to use Clipchamp. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to learn more for this kind of topics at LearnTag. Thank you.